Hi, I'm John Barr. Hope you're doing new features. I hope the next time I see you, you're not just you. You're also a toaster. So I'm very new to trying to like seriously do YouTube. I'm now at a point where I'm uploading at least once, sometimes even two or three times a month. But now that I'm trying to like make YouTube work as a thing I could maybe someday do for work, I wanted to make sure I stayed up to date on any kind of, you know, new updates or features that YouTube had. And lo and behold, they have just added something new to the creator side of the service. This new feature is called Research Insights, and it's meant to be a new way that creators can kind of see what folks are looking up on YouTube to get a better understanding of what their content should be. There's two specific features to this. There's the first one that is called searches across YouTube, where I could type in a keyword and see what some of the things that folks are looking up are and maybe make a video on those. But there's also a feature called your viewers searches, where I can see what kind of things you, again, specifically, person watching right now, Daniel, I can now see what you're searching and then maybe make a video off of that, you know, give you exactly what you're looking for. I figured, hey, what, what better way to figure out how to use this new YouTube tool than by making a video out of learning what other kinds of videos I maybe should be making instead, in case you're also out there trying to figure out how to be a YouTuber and you want to see this stuff in action, Let's go take a look together. Also like and subscribe. I, I know that's a thing YouTube wants us to do now, is say that early in the video. I don't know why. You'd think you'd save it for the end of the video when folks have watched it and can make an educated decision, but apparently it helps and a lot of you aren't subscribed. Most people in this world, in fact, are not subscribed to me, so maybe consider it. All right, so the first feature we're gonna start with is the searches across YouTube feature. Now I'm gonna pull up some of the videos that I have made before, you know, things that hypothetically drew people into my channel in the first place and kind of see what else pops up for some of those keywords. For example, one of my first videos was about how they should replace Ansel Elgort in West Side Story with Spider-Man, and I greatly enjoy Spider-Man as a superhero, so let's see what folks are looking up with Spider-Man. Man. Man. <laughs> I love the idea that somebody's at home of like, God, I'm thinking of this one superhero. Let me finish. He's a man. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. That that makes sense, actually. You know, it's, it's how, like, Mario's full name is Mario Mario, so you gotta type the full name to make sure it doesn't try and suggest you, like, just any old schmuck named Mario, right? Okay, we got a bunch of people looking up Spider-Man No Way Home full movie. Hey, may as well check just to be sure. Spy. Yeah, they'll they'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, Bully Maguire. Oh, that's fun. Hell yeah. The just insane Tobey Maguire black suit Spider-Man memes. I love that. Can we just watch that as a video? <laughs> that, 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 that got us some pretty good results, I would say. There's some stuff I can work with. Let's move on to another video. I, uh, I, I did make a video about don't Look Up, a movie that I have since seen after making that video, but still stand by everything I said in it. So let, let, let's see what happens if I type in Don't Look Up. What kind of results are we gonna get? Ariana Grande, Don't Look Up, of course, yeah. Don't Look Up Scene, which, which one? <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence, Hot Scenes, Don't, okay. Don't Look Up Ending Explained. I know that's a very popular kind of video here on YouTube. I don't know how much the ending of Don't Look Up needs to be explained. <laughs> I feel like it's pretty broadly televised that the ending is just supposed to be like, hey gang, I, I don't think we did enough about climate change. And then the climate change parallel thing happens and it doesn't go good. There you go, there's the ending explained. Gamers, don't look up. <laughs> The, the gamers, you do not want to watch this movie. <laughs> and then just because I'm curious, my final search is actually going to be Twitch. Let's see what, what, you know, what more can I learn about that platform via this platform? Twitch rivals Rust. I heard about that. I heard it got a little awkward at the end there. <laughs> Highlight year Twitch anniversary age, just a whole bunch of numbers. Don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do with that. <laughs> Twitch plays Pokemon, oh my God, I remember Twitch plays Pokemon. I know a couple streamers, I think at this point, have done their like own Twitch plays Pokemon with the, just their specific chat. But I remember being in, I guess it would have been high school when the first like Twitch plays Pokemon really popped off with all uh, 
with old bird jesus right oh my god what a fun time that was okay again so now we've gotten highlight year twitch anniversary again i don't exactly know what that means and why it's i guess trending less than the version with too many letters and numbers at the end but now it's also specifically telling me here that this is a like content gap where i guess folks there's a real lack of whatever this is supposed to be on youtube so i don't really know why they're looking it up in the first place this is why youtube gaming is never going to beat twitch unless they wanted to give me a, a, a youtube gaming contract in which case i i think there's a lot of room for for growth and success there i think i think it's i think it's got twitch on the ropes and then twitch rivals fortnite oh boy if there's one thing i know less about than twitch it's fortnite so let's go ahead and bounce over to the stuff that you specifically daniel are looking up huh what's in your old dirty search history uh, uh the first thing up uh, this is gonna be a problem because apparently the number one thing y'all are looking up is cats meowing which <laughs> i i cannot possibly deliver i'm allergic to cats so I, I cannot show you a cat meowing because it's going to get drowned out by my sneezing. By the way, I, I know I already mentioned at the top that you should subscribe to the channel, like the video. I also forgot to mention, if you have a cat, I need it to be in the other room. If your cat is in your room while you're watching my video, I might start sneezing because it can get me through the computer. So go ahead and just get that cat the heck out of here. How to make macaroni and cheese. I can't offer super good advice. I know how to make like the, the Kraft boxed mac and cheese and how to microwave frozen mac and cheese. So if if that's what you mean, I got you covered. Sega Dreamcast and original Xbox, both pretty high for y'all. I do not own either of these systems. All of my systems are like, it's like the Switch, my MacBook that I play some games off of, and then just all of the Nintendo handheld systems, which I mean, hey, we can do a, a system comparison for those. Why not? Compare my one Game Boy Advance to the Game Boy Advance that my friend from middle school lent me to trade him all of the starter Pokemon and Leaf Green. And then I, I haven't seen him in years and should give him his Game Boy Advance bat we we don't need to talk about that right now jack i miss you a hundred days as a dragon oh shit all right hold on i i should look up what what the dragon lifestyle is tips for living like a dragon have scales breathe fire eat mac and cheese <laughs> eat hot chip in line why netflix lost subscribers okay you know that's been a hot topic all across youtube i get it if they're looking to cut some corners we could probably i think we're done probably with dave chappelle right hot take but I, I think we may have tapped the dave chappelle well dry battle of blizzard bridge i don't know what that is oh it's from Cur okay we got some Kirby heads in here. All right. I don't have Forgotten Land, but I do have a Switch. And if I got an HDMI cord, I could probably stream it. Oh, also, I don't know if there's a way. And this is what we can do when we, when we one day compare my two Game Boy Advances. If there's any way to, like, actually record and stream from those systems... I still own Nightmare in Dreamland. Maybe we maybe we play a little bit of that. That could be fun as hell. How to get Leone Misbegotten. Oh, Leone I know is a character from Fire Emblem Three Houses, but I don't know what Leone Misbegotten means. Oh, uh, it's because it's not Fire Emblem. I don't know. <laughs> oh boy. It's like a Camaro with a sword. That's kind of hype. Leone Misbegotten is a feral humanoid with feline features and a thick crimson mane. Can we just look up clips of Leone meowing instead? <laughs> <laughs> Am I alert? Would I be allergic to Leone? That's if there are any Elden Ring lore masters out there watching this video Let me know if you think Leone is cat-like enough for me to be allergic <laughs> What was the search again specifically? How to get to Leone Misbegotten Leone Misbegotten can be found in the southwestern shores of Castle Morn at the Weeping Peninsula From the beside the Rampart Gowl site of grace head southwest across a wooden bridge towards a tower the boss's arena is clearly visible from this tower. Find a ladder at the side of the tower. I'm not going to read all of this, but I've, I, I hope the, the here, <laughs> that's where you go. Just go to eldenring.wiki.fextralife.com slash leone plus misbegotten, and you'll figure it out for yourself. That counts as me doing it for you, though, so <laughs> SEO checked. And <laughs> then liberal arts degree. 
God damn. Fair. Fair enough. Hey, listen, viewers, if you're looking for a liberal arts degree, just know that I personally have a BFA degree from a school for screenwriting. And now I'm here looking up how to find bosses in video <laughs> You know, I'm just gonna be honest with you, gang. I don't think I'm gonna save a single one of these searches. Well, actually, I am gonna save a hundred days as a dragon. I absolutely want to know what's going on with that. I'm gonna be disappointed if this also just turns out to be a video game. Oh, yeah. It's specifically something in Minecraft. I should have known. I absolutely should have known. Am I gonna have to learn how to play Minecraft if I want to do anything on YouTube and Twitch? Because I feel like I am, and I feel like it's not gonna go awesome for me. But hey, that's, that's a tour of the new features. Now you know that you can find out what kind of things folks around the internet want to know with certain topics, and what kind of things your specific viewers want to know. Anyway, I gotta go make a frozen microwavable mac and cheese for my lunch. I guess I can show you how I make that real quick. Hold on, hold on. Let's actually, yeah, that's a fun note to end this video on is watching me make my mac and cheese lunch. So watch. <laughs> All right, so the mac and cheese that I'm gonna be making today is this uh, just pepperoni mac and cheese bowl. It's very easy to make, so that's why. <laughs> it says you're supposed to poke some holes in it first. That probably counts. It then says to microwave it on high for five to six minutes. I'm gonna do it for five, so that way I can add in some stuff uh, and then microwave it for a sixth minute. There's that button. And that's what, uh, that's what my microwave sounds like. All right, now that the first five minutes of it is done, I'm gonna, ow. How am I gonna peel this off with one hand? That's maybe something I should have thought about. But no, it's going great. I'm doing an awesome job. I did it. Oh, so cool. Anyway, uh, now I'm gonna add some more cheese to it. Because <laughs> I'm a degenerate. Let's get it back in the microwave. But I also now have to open it again. Alright, and now that that's done done, I'm gonna try even harder not to burn myself. Ooh, but look at that sweet, sweet melted cheese on there. Uh, and like I said, I'm gonna add more than just one thing to it. I got this uh, Valentina hot sauce. It's not that hot, but that's because I'm still kind of a baby. But we're just gonna go ahead and put that much in there. And I know you might be saying to yourself, well, John, this mac and cheese you didn't technically make, you just kind of microwaved it. Uh, to which I'd say, you know, it, it arguably doesn't matter how good the tools are or the ingredients are if it still winds up being more or less okay. And that's also why I still edit all my videos in iMovie. <laughs> anyway, I don't feel like filming a second outro, so see you next time. Bye. Ow, it's hot. Ow. <laughs> Meow!